Hi, hello, hey guys. Um, today I am gonna be doing something really stupid that I probably shouldn't be doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I really want to. <laughs> As you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be cutting my own hair because that's always a good idea, isn't it? I mean, what could possibly go wrong with me? Not a hairdresser, never cutted hair, never cutted hair, <laughs> never cut hair before. What could possibly go wrong with me cutting my own? I know exactly what you're all thinking. You're thinking, Sophie, your mum's a hairdresser. Why don't you get her to do it? She's super busy at the moment. She couldn't slot me in at all. So part of me was like, that's fine. We'll just wait until the new year. I'll do it then. But this other part of me was just like, do it now. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I quite enjoy doing things to my hair. I've done things to my hair quite a few times. They never go to plan, so I probably should have learnt by now, but I just quite enjoy it. I get a little bit of a buzz out of it. Place your bets now. Is it gonna go well or is it gonna go bad? I want you guys to predict. I think it's probably gonna go really bad. <laughs> Basically, this all started about a month ago. I did a like transformation video. And in that video, I wore like a clip on fringe and I got so many comments saying that it really suited me. I thought it quite suited me as well. Like I did really like it. Um, I got a lot of people saying that it suited my face shape because I've got quite a long face. When I have my hair like this, it just kind of like makes it look even longer. But lots of you were saying that the fringe kind of like breaks it up and just makes it look less long. I even got a comment saying that it makes my nose look smaller. I I think I'm pretty prepared for this. I've watched quite a few YouTube tutorials on how to do it. I was gonna ask my mum how to do it, but she doesn't actually know I'm doing this because I know she'd talk me out of it. She'd be like, Sophie, you are an idiot, don't do it. So she doesn't actually know I'm doing this. She'll find out later, but yeah, I've watched a lot of YouTube tutorials. I think I know what I'm doing and I've even bought some proper hairdressing scissors and clips and stuff like that. And I didn't just get normal ones, oh no. <laughs> I got these. Aren't they the most amazing hairdressing scissors you've ever seen? They are beautiful. They're like, is it holographic? They are, they're holographic, aren't they? Oh, so yeah, trust me to get holographic hairdressing scissors. That is so extra. Um, so yeah, I've got these. And then they also came with these other scissors as well. Scissors, that's really hard to say, scissors as well. These other ones as well, these are thinning scissors. So if I accidentally do it too thick, we can thin things out. I don't know how to use them though. So yeah, we've got our scissors and then I've also got a bunch of clips to clip things back. Anyway, I'm talking a lot because I'm nervous and I'm trying to stall myself from actually doing it. But I think we should just get on with it. Who cares? It's just hair. It will grow back. If it doesn't go well, it will grow back. So <laughs> let's go. So as you can see, I've already been practicing with like sectioning in it. What? Practicing sectioning it. Um, so yeah, I think we need to clip these bits back. Ow! That was my ear. And then same on the other side, I'm just gonna clip that bit back as well. Okay, so now we've been left with these bits, which is where I'm gonna start. Like I wanna start off really thin and then if I have to thicken it, I can, but I just don't want it to be too thick. That would be my biggest fear. I want this to be like biggest fear. Oh, come off, it's only hair. Um, <laughs> I just don't want it to be really thick and chunky. I want it to be like a really wispy fringe. Okay, ignore how dodgy my parting is. I realise I just don't have a parting. Mine's off in all directions, but I tried to make it as straight as I could, but it doesn't really matter. That, that bit doesn't matter. This is the bit we're focusing on, and I basically made a little triangle shape. I think it's straight. It's got to be as equal as possible. And yeah, that is my little triangle shape that I made earlier. I just used a comb to do it. This is the hair that I'm going to be chopping. I think I think the first thing I need to do though is straighten this out because right now if I let go it's obviously been like trained to go either side so I'm gonna straighten it out so that it goes like that and then I will be back. <laughs> also if you're watching this and you're about to follow it like a tutorial please don't I advise you not to. <laughs> Ow! Scissors no! So I just straightened it an absolute ton, but it's still making that little gap in the middle there. I think it's one of those things that you'll just have to train it over time. Oh my God, when I talk, <laughs> I'm gonna have to like train it over time. Or when I next wash my hair, if I put it into place like how I want it and then dry it, I feel like it will stay a lot better. So, so hopefully it works. I'm just gonna get on with it now. It is time to cut the hair. <laughs> they sound nice, don't they? They've got a nice snip on them. Oh yeah. <laughs> what I've learned is you don't want to cut it like where you think it should be because when you let go, your hair will bounce upwards a bit and it will be even shorter than you think. So I need to cut it longer than I think, if that makes sense. And then we can just kind of snip from there. Okay, let's do it. Doesn't matter if it looks bad, 
2019 has been a rubbish year, so why not end a rubbish year with a dodgy haircut? Dodgy haircut for a dodgy year. <laughs> As you can see, that wasn't very straight, but that's fine. We can straighten it somehow. Mm, look at it. Look, that is the tiniest bit of hair. It's literally like no big deal. <laughs> Just gonna place that bit down there. It did feel quite weird though, cutting my own hair. Like that felt really strange. So now we can kind of get an idea of how thin it's gonna be. Like this is honestly how thin I wanted it. I know it looks so thin, but I want it to be super, super thin. So yeah, we now need to like chop into it because we don't want that like super harsh line that it's got. So I've just kind of taken two pieces from either side of it and I'm just gonna clip them back because I don't want them to be as short as this bit. I kind of want them to be a little bit longer, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna deal with them afterwards basically. So I'm just gonna pop them over there for now. Why did it come out so wonky? Like what did I do to cause it to do that? Now I'm really concerned that I'm not gonna get it straight because I thought I was cutting it straight. Like I actually did. It is not straight at all. <laughs> Mom, help. So I'm just gonna start like chopping at bits a little bit and you wanna do it like upwards so that it's not so much of like a blunt line. Listen to me, I sound like a right hairdresser. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so obviously I need to cut off a bit more because I can't have it this long. I can't really see out of it. I just don't want to cut anymore because I feel like I'm not doing a very good job of doing it straight. Right now I look like an absolute wally. Let's just take this bit again and chop it some more. <laughs> it still just wants to make this gap, doesn't it? It loves this gap. Yeah, let me just take out the rest of my hair. I feel like it's always gonna... That looks awful. <laughs> I was just gonna say, it's always gonna look better when my hair's curled. Like, my hair in general just looks nicer when it's curled, so... Yeah! Oh. Mm. It just looks so weird. Okay, I think I'm gonna sort it out. I'm gonna... I've got hair. I've got hair everywhere. So it is now a little while later. I basically went away because I wanted to clear up the hair. There was hair everywhere. I don't know where I expected it to go. Of course, it was gonna be all over my lap. So I was just clearing things up. And then I also went and washed my hair because I thought if I wet it and then blow dry it downwards, it might sit like a fringe a little bit better instead of having that big like parting gap. It's kind of helped it a little bit, but it is still wanting to go like that. And I think it's because I have one of those like loopy bits in your hair. I think it's it's called a cow lick. Why is it called that? That is the weirdest name, but I'm pretty sure it's called a cow lick when you have those bits in your hair that just want to go like that and there's nothing you can really do to stop it. So yeah, I feel like a fringe is never going to properly work for me because it's always going to want to go like that and that bit's always going to want to go like that. Probably should have thought of that before I did it, but... <laughs> But yeah, I've washed my hair and I'm now about to style it. So before I had straight hair, but I think I'm gonna try curling it. I just think my hair always looks a little bit better when I curl it. So I'm gonna curl it on camera for you guys because I do often get questions asking how do you curl your hair? So I thought this would be a good opportunity to do it on camera. Also, I've done my makeup in case you didn't realize and now have makeup on just because I thought it'd be nice to see the finished result when I've done my makeup. Oh, it's, look at him. He just wants to be like, that's all it wants to do is go like this. Although, do you know what? I don't mind it to the side. Mm, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Brush it through. Oh, bit knotty. I use curling tongs to curl my hair. Don't worry, they're not on. <laughs> I use curling tongs. <laughs> they're not on yet. I use these to curl my hair. They're from Primark. I'm pretty sure they're about 10 pounds. I bought them earlier this year for a video to test them out. And I've used these ever since to curl my hair. I find this so much easier than using straighteners. So yeah, just gonna wait for them to heat up. And then I just curl my hair section by section. So I'm just gonna start off with the bottom layer. Obviously, I feel like you probably do this yourself. This is probably very obvious, but I just thought I would show you how I curl my hair. I don't think I've ever curled my hair on camera before. This is a really awkward jumper to be wearing when I'm curling my hair, because these bits are gonna get right in the way, but I can't be bothered to go and get changed. This is the coziest thing ever. From Topshop, by the way. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of questions asking where it's from. <laughs> Oh my goodness, can you hear that? That was some heavy rain. Okay, so I just take a little section like this and then oh, I bet I burn myself. I've never done this on camera, so I bet I burn myself. And then I just wrap it around, oh, almost. 
Hold it for maybe like five or six seconds. Doo -doo. Oh dear, what's going on there? That is not my best effort. <laughs> I'm really excited to get Alex's reaction to this. I don't know what he's gonna think of me with a fringe. Is he gonna like it? I mean, he's gotta like it because I've got one now, but <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna like it. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I like it, but I'm pretty sure I can put it to the side and hide it. And then I basically just keep repeating that with all of the different sections of my hair until it's all curled. So I'm just gonna do that. I'll be back in a sec. My voice went really croaky then. Back in a sec. <laughs> Do you want to know a little secret? If I'm only filming a video, I don't curl the back of my hair. <laughs> if I'm actually going out, I'll curl all of my hair. But if I'm just filming, I just curl the sides. Like, I don't do the back because you're not going to see it. And then once I've curled all of my hair, I just kind of like run my fingers through it just to break up the curls a little bit and mess them up. And that is basically all I do to get this kind of like wavy, curly-ish look. I don't know how it looks with the fringe. Honestly, I'm so unsure of this. I think it probably looks better without one. Let me just try like a little side thing. Let's see how well I can hide this because honestly, I'm starting to wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> like I don't hate it, but I just, I don't know. I think maybe I look better but then you can see my big forehead. So I liked that I could cover it, but I just don't know now if it does suit me. <laughs> that was really loud. Yeah, I don't think it's something that I'm gonna keep. I think because of the way my hair works, what I was saying before, it would just be such a pain having to constantly try and drag it over to cover up the gap. I think I'm just gonna have it as like a side thing. I'll try and hide it and I'll just grow it out. So this was a bit of a fail because I've cut myself a fringe and I'm probably never gonna wear it as a fringe because I just, I don't know. I, I'm undecided. Let me know what you guys think. I really thought I was gonna love it as well, but mm, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the video is not over yet because we've got to get Alex's reaction. And yeah, the next clip will be when Alex walks through the door and we'll get his reaction. So Alex is now back. You know what I've done, don't you? You've cut your hair. I've been chopping my own hair. Well, just my fringe, not anything else. Uh, I wanted to get your reaction and see what you think of fringe Sophie. Okay. Fringe. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> it's really bright in there. It's really bright, sorry. That's all right. Do you think? Yeah. I'm not so sure. No. <laughs> you don't like it. No, it's fine. Well, what don't you like about it? Well, what do you prefer? Fringe Sophie or not fringe Sophie? I don't know. <laughs> that means you don't like it. No. Okay, I'm coming in. It doesn't look right. I've got McDonald's. <laughs> Alex brought, brought in McDonald's. Mm -mm -mm. I accidentally bought three portions of chips. How do you accidentally buy three portions of chips? <laughs> I don't know, but it happened. <laughs> mm. I was only meant to buy two. Oh my goodness, yet again in a video, we're eating like a takeaway junk food. I swear it's only when we're filming. When did it happen last time? We got pizza in the last video. It looks bad, Ali. It looks bad. Well, yeah, but... You know, we do eat vegetables as well. No, I meant my fringe. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I just don't know. What would you rate it out of 10? Seven. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I don't know what, why you're complaining. <laughs> so much better. I don't think I am even going to try and fix it. I think I'm just going to sort of go like this and pretend it never happened and just like clip it back. I'll wait until I've looked back at the footage and see how it looks on camera. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking I might just pretend it never happened. I don't think the fringe life is for me. It's also very tickly. I think you'd get used to it, but it's very like, Ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Was it enjoyable? I basically just chopped my hair and that was kind of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought I had to film it. I feel like if I did it and didn't film it, people would be like, oh, you should have filmed it. So Absolutely. hope you enjoyed it. I would have been at the front of that queue. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a bit of a fail. Well, I don't know yet. I'm going to decide when I look at the video if it was a fail or not, but I think it's just, nah. I don't know. Look, if you don't like it, the good thing is it is hideable. It is hideable because even with like a bit of product or some clips, I could hide it so much better. Oh, that's a very long, well, it's not long <laughs> anymore, a long but... chip. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave behind the whole doing my hair myself thing in 2019 because this year I've done so many things to my hair that I shouldn't have. So I'm going to go into 2020 saying no more doing my own hair. This is the last one, okay? Anyway, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Would you like a chip? Bye. <laughs>